Singapore has opened its first jetty, catering specifically to electric supply vessels. It offers end-to-end -end solutions for the maritime logistics industry to go fully electric and digital. It's part of a 12-month trial overseen by the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore. An electric harbour craft like this one usually carries supplies out to ships anchored in Singapore's waters. For instance, spare parts and food for crew members. Now such vessels can come to this hub at Loyang in the east of Singapore. Not only is there ample space to load goods, there are smart warehouses, digital processes and cargo trucking catered to their needs. This offers time savings of up to two hours. This hub has the potential to reap further productivity gains and emission savings through supply chain optimization. Ship supplies that are imported through Changi Airport can be routed to Loyang's offshore supply base, directed to the eastern anchorages, saving on efficiency of transporting first to the west and then back to on land and then back to the east by sea. This is particularly valuable for time-sensitive, high-value supplies like pharmaceutical, electronics and spare parts. The facility operator says that this is part of its efforts to build smarter, cleaner supply chains. It hopes to set a framework for sustainable maritime logistics in the region. What we are looking at is close to about 80% reduction in the carbon emissions. Um, that's, that's a big number because if you, if you look at the, uh, some of the statistics that we have currently, there are more than a few thousand trips every month uh, done by the diesel boats uh, between uh, some of the conventional uh, light rail terminals in the west and also at, uh, in the east. Uh, and that all will be replaced by these electric boats. The wharf has been designed to allow each vessel to be charged while goods are being loaded at the same time. One maritime logistics firm says that this has the potential to double their productivity compared to using diesel vessels. We have about 8 to 10 hours of downtime uh, on a daily basis for the, uh, for the diesel boat for it to have you know, the proper maintenance to cool down the engines and all of that. Uh, for the EV, obviously, we don't see those challenges. The hub also expands Singapore's network of charging points for electric vessels. The first point was installed in Marina South Pier in April 2024. Its co-operator welcomes the increased connectivity. The way we look at it is that uh, the more charging locations there are around Singapore, it's something that's very good for the industry because then you unlock uh, where electric vessels can travel to because the location of charging station it's important because electric vessel, uh, they need to have access to a nearby charging station. Then you're able to travel and operate more effectively. Authorities hope the success of this trial will see the broader adoption of such electric harbour craft in Singapore. All such vessels must be zero emissions by 2030.